good old Taika Waititi. I mean, this man is literally the epicenter of just pure and utter cringe, the likes of which we don't really get to see uh, too often. I mean, and that's saying a lot considering what Hollywood is filled with extremely cringy directors and producers and writers and everything of the sort that you can imagine. But we're talking about Taika Waititi again, a.k.a. not really Taika Waititi. It's all a made-up name because he wants to sound more diverse. But we have an article here from good old Bounding Into Comics that says Thor Love and Thunder director Taika Waititi pushes back against film critics and says if you want it to be exactly like the comic, go read the comic. Now, again, we have this conversation because it is a constant battle between what the fans actually want versus what these directors and producers and writers want to do with this IP that they are adapting. We can't even call it an adaptation anymore because it's almost always bastardized to the extent where now they want to come out and say some stupid crap like this, saying if you want to read exactly the comic, then go read the comic, knowing damn well that that's gaslighting and that's not the actual argument that people have. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, if you're new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm Shadow Ban as hell and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. It says apparently still unable to uh, accept that his attempts to subvert audience expectations with the Golden Avengers fourth solo film completely missed the mark. Director Taika Waititi has attempted to deflect the near universal criticisms that Thor Love and Thunder's quality by painting those unhappy with his work as comic purists who only complaints are that the film is not exactly like the comic. Now again, it's not just us. It's not just people who are into the original comics that were making these complaints. Complaints. There are people who are watching this movie and they said to themselves, why is Thor like this? Like, this is not even the Thor that we saw in the beginning of the MCU. This is not even the Thor that we saw in the middle of the MCU. This is just a recent Thor that is just being cucked left and right and being absolutely destroyed by Taika Waititi. And he wants to continue doing so, which is even the more hilarious thing. Like, he wants to make a fifth Thor movie and he wants to take that name, bastardize it even more, and tell you that you're the one that's wrong for pointing it out. It's a typical move that Taika seems to like making because it seems to be the easy way to deflect criticism against his movies. So it says the man who hollowed out the God of Thunder's cinematic incarnation pushes back against his critics while speaking in reflection of the film's production for the Thor Love and Thunder, the official movie special book. Per a transcript of the relevant section provided by comicbookmovie.com, Waititi began by admitting that he found it very difficult to nail down the film's tone as he was torn between his incessant need to add his tired brand of of humor to everything and the gravity of Jane Foster's cancer-based storyline. It's an ongoing battle because I want my films to be entertaining, said the director, and I want a lot of humor in them. To poke fun, not only at the idea of the space viking, but also to poke fun at humans. How we bumble our way through life on this planet. The comic run is very serious and Jane's story is especially tense, he continued. And so to try to find humor around that stuff, as well as making it an emotional story, was always going to be difficult. But you know what? It's really not that difficult, though. Like, you're able to do these things. You know, there's people, there's plenty of examples out there of movies that have super serious storylines and yet sneak in a little bit of comedy. Even if it's dark humor, they still sneak it in. And you cannot say that that's possible. You know, you want to, you want to come out here and completely change Thor and make him into a joke. The problem is that Taika doesn't have any semblance of balance. You know, he's trying to talk about, oh yeah, I'm trying to find the balance between serious storytelling and making jokes. But the thing is, everybody can tell that you don't have a balance. It's very clear. There is no balance with your movies. Everything is a joke. You made Thor a complete joke. You made the entire movie a complete joke. You have been cucking Thor for the last God knows how many movies, and it's not funny anymore. I mean, even, even Hemsworth himself originally said that he didn't want to do Thor anymore on until they were going to do something drastically different and not the same jokey manner stuff they've been doing over the last few years. And if the actor himself is feeling this way, what do you think the fans are feeling? What do you think the people watching your movie are feeling? They're very obviously catching on to your game. Everybody can see that you like to make your movies into jokey movies. And it's really it's really shitty because the problem is that Marvel themselves are doing this with a lot of their own movies, right? It's not just Taika's movies. Everybody knows a typical Marvel humor, right? And it's not really it's really not humor that anybody's super interested in. But again, they want to call it humor. So if Taika Waititi was the only one doing it and it wasn't stale from everybody else doing it then maybe you might have something but the problem is you're doing everything that everybody else is doing 
tenfold with a character that really should be taking a little more serious. You know what I mean? He says, and we struggled with that. He added, we wrestled with it throughout the edit right up until we finished the film. YTD explained, we did funny scenes about cancer. We did way more tragic scenes about having cancer. Some audiences really love the humor part of it. Some audiences really wanted it to just be like the comics. To this end, the upcoming Star Wars director, I hope he's not, but you know, there's that rumor. But you know, I always say, if you want it to be exactly like the comics, go read the comics. You've got to change things here and there to make it a film. Notably, YTD's entire framing of the criticism against his film is disingenuous at best and an outright dodging of accountability at best. The film's abysmal reputation was not born from the fact that it's not comic book accurate, but rather the fact that it's just terrible. As seen in the near universal praise of such MCU entries, such as Captain America the Winter Soldier, Spider-Man No Way Home, and most notably Guardians of the Galaxy, fans are entirely open to diverging takes on their classic character. However, the key to doing so is remaining respectful to their original incarnations, not throwing tomatoes at everything that made the respective character in the first place well that's another problem they don't know the difference okay like people like taika watiti they don't know the difference between respecting the original source material and copying it one by one right so when fans come out and they say you know you should respect the source material i'm expecting the character to kind of be like this if you want to take diverging paths go ahead but don't take a completely different path change the character to the point where it is non-recognizable and try to tell me it's the same exact character and if i don't don't like it i'm just an idiot or a bigot or whatever that doesn't make any sense you know what i mean like these characters are nowhere near the same as they were in their comic book iterations and you don't have to change it that much to make a movie you don't have to do that much to make a film and he's trying to come from a place of like well i'm the director i know best you know what i mean like I, i'm doing this you guys don't do this but i've been doing this and i know what i need to do for my movie he's coming from that perspective and i get it but ultimately if it's not working it's not working now the thing is a lot of people are going to say well this movie was a financial hit listen every now and then there are terrible movies that are financial hits there are movies out there that i think are terrible that made a ton of money there's also movies out there that i think are amazing that made no money so that does happen from time to time and it's to be expected you can't expect everything to be financially uh, financially literate you know what i mean like it's not going to always translate money wise into uh, quality it just doesn't work that way but ultimately it is a gauge of how people responded to the movie and i just think that a lot of people were duped into this movie because the way they advertised it it was very clear it was going to be about thor and then all of a sudden they uh bait and switched you and made it about jane so again ladies and gentlemen if you want to uh apparently follow the source material then you're just going to have to read the comic books because these producers these writers these directors are never going to want to do anything that's a faithful adaptation because apparently you can't do that without you know without actually changing something it's impossible you can't you can't bring it into film i guess tv shows like one piece don't necessarily agree because they changed a bunch of things and they still had a great tv show that was respectful to the source material and was very successful because of it so but hey don't tell taika watiti that that man knows everything you know all because he changed his name so that he looks more uh diverse so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out